There is 1,000 acres burning every 30 minutes. The fires are scorching the West Coast, leaving behind a path of death. The desperate battle to contain California's historic fires is now a race against time. Wildfire is a disaster type which uncontrolled fire in an area of combustible vegetation studied in rural and urban area. What are the main causes of wildfire? Who or what started first? Is it naturally or human caused it? The answer is both. Natural fire are generally started by lightning. With a very small percentage started by hot lightning which that can produce a spark when it's right that can lead to burning of forest or ground. Mostly it causes by human itself. Nearly 85% of wildfire are causes by human around the world. Human carelessness is a common cause of wildfire. Many of these fires are caused by cigarette butts being left on the land that it is still burning. The small oversight can cause a huge impact on environment and surrounding area. The example of wildfire caused by humans in California in September 2020. The fire of El Dorado fire grown to more than 10,000 acres was ignited by a family who used pyrotechnic device to announce the gender of their new baby. The next factors that can cause forest fires are climate change. According to the Union of Concerned Scientists, the average temperatures in America have increased by 2 degrees since the year 1970. Although the rise in temperature may seem small, the impact can be seen by the whole world. When climate change happened, forests would be drier for longer periods of time and things like dry plants, trees and shrubs would also serve as abundant fields for forest fire to start. And as we know, warmer temperature will increase the probability of wildfires to start. The increased number of droughts and unusual rain, rain patterns would also lead to wildfires as there will be more dead trees that can result to more wildfire to occur. One of the effects of forest fires is soil degradation. The soils in the forest are full of nutrients and also consist of numerous natural features that support a plethora of life forms and organic activities. So how exactly can forest fires contribute to soil degradation? As we know, the trees are the ones who hold the soil together. So when forest fires occur, for sure the trees will be burned down to the ground. And when the trees are no longer there, Who's going to be the one that holds the soils together? Exactly, no one. Thus, natural disasters such as landslides that are caused by soil degradation will happen. Dr. Todd Shuri, a wildlife health specialist with Parks Canada, currently based at the Western College of Veterinary Medicine in Saskatoon, says, Wildfires like the ones currently raging in British Columbia are devastating for wildlife in the short term, but can also be beneficial for some animals on a long-term basis. Larger and quicker animals like wolves and bears can simply run away from fires, but when the flames spread quickly, slower moving animals like tortoises and porcupines are less likely to escape. Many of the animals that do not survive forest fires die as a result of inhaling the various toxic chemicals found in the smoke. For animals with severe burns to large parts of the body, it is hard for them to be removed from the wild for treatment. As a result, they will be left dead. These wildfires will not only can cause animals extinction, the animals will also lose their habitats as they are forced to evacuate their home.
larger and more intense wildfires are creating the potential for greater smoke production and crowding exposures. Wildfires increase air pollution in surrounding areas and can affect regional air quality. Wildfires threaten lives directly and the smoke can affect us all. They spread air pollution not only nearby, but thousands of miles away, causing breathing difficulties in even healthy individuals, children, older adults, and those who suffered asthma and other lung diseases. Wildfires can cause temporary large increases in outdoor even particles and increases in gaseous air pollutants such as carbon monoxide, nitrogen dioxide, formaldehyde, and acetaldehyde. Almost every year, a smoky haze blankets the Southeast Asian region, signaling the return of forest fires in Indonesia. For many in this region, grey skies and a lingering, unpleasant smell are not unfamiliar. But 2019 has already brought with some of the worst haze levels in years. Many farmers take advantage of the condition to clear vegetation for palm oil, pulp and paper plantation using the slash and burn method. Besides irritating the respiratory tract and eyes, pollutants in the haze can cause serious long-term damage to health. Not only the human who suffered from the haze, but endangered animals like the orangutan also affected. The graph shows the United States' western wildland acres burned from 2002 until 2020. If you look at the trend, it is increasing throughout the years with 2018 being the highest wildland acres burned. Number 1. Extinguish fire pits and campfire when time. Many people wonder how to prevent wildfires, but the easiest way is to be careful when having a campfire or using a pit fire. A fire should never be left unattended for any period. Also, when you are done with the fire, then make sure you completely extinguish it. Use water or ashes to put out the flames. Keep tents and sleeping gear away from any fire pit or campfire to ensure you don't add fuel to the fire. Loose kindling and branches around the campsite can feed the flames. To prevent wildfires, you should tidy up the area to make sure there is nothing that could catch fire from an errant spark. Number 2. Don't throw a lit cigarette out of your moving car. Never throw a lit cigarette, smoking materials, or matches out of your car or on the ground. Cigarettes and matches both have enough heat to create a spark. Make sure any cigarettes are completely extinguished before you throw them in the trash. Many wildfires can start by carelessly flicking a cigarette butt on the ground, especially during dangerously dry conditions. Number 3. Pay attention to local ordinances for trash burning. If you burn your trash, then you need to make sure that you follow your local ordinances. Most areas will have restrictions when it's windy or there are dangerous conditions that can spark a wildfire. Make sure to have a fire extinguisher with you when you burn anything so that you can put out the flames if necessary. If you have any flammable materials in your yard, remove them before you burn any trash or rubbish. My name is Muhammad Azimah Shakira Bima Azin. My metric number is 2019-224262. Hello everyone, my name is Mama Haikal bin Zajinur, matrix number 2019-243846. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh, my name is Muhammad Shazwan bin Zamahiro, number matrix is 2019-232714. Hello everyone, my name is Muhammad Arif Iskandar bin Adenain, my matrix number is 2019-235296.